All right. Well, I'm really excited to be recording Neo 2 for real now. Uh, today, Neo 2 finally comes to the PC, and uh, it's running at a smooth 60, fra uh, 60 frames per second, and everything just looks really good on here. So, uh, I played this game a lot on the PS4, and... It was just really fun, so I really enjoyed the game. I haven't played it in, in about a month or two, so um, I'm I'm uh, I'm ready to get back into the game, and this time we can actually record it for real. Uh, when you first started the game, it asked you a lot of a uh, a lot about the options and everything, so I already had it, already went ahead and went through those. Um, one of the new things about Neo Two is that in the first game. You had to play as as a as a guy named William, so in this game you just play as a as like a mercenary and you can basically uh, choose who you want to be. So I guess we'll go to that soon after this cutscene. おお、もう会話に大きくなったか。はい。どのような子が生まれてくるのやら。この未来は限りなく広がっておりますれば。Okay, bright light, can you, thank you. I was like, can you please get out of my face? Thank you. All right. So we get a character creator, something that we didn't get in the, in the uh, first game. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty good character creator. It's, uh, yeah, I haven't really heard any, like, any complaints about the uh, create about the character creation? I think it's pretty good. And uh, what's even cool is that, like, you, you go through these uh, through these options, and like your quote unquote parents or whoever is uh, commenting on it. I think a comment like yeah. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's they have a comment for for uh, for for each each section. Honestly, if I'm if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be completely honest here, this the hair that he has right now isn't too far off from the hair that I currently have, especially considering it has little streaks of gray in it, and I'm starting to get gray hair already. So. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Yeah, that reminds me. I need I need to save. <laughs> Haven't uh, done that in a while. I like how it's both the uh, mother and father's take on uh, on the looks. Does it? Oh. What are these sounds like Link? I swear. Yeah, it kind of sounds like Link. Yeah, number two sounds a lot like Link. I just found that kind of funny. And yokai form, which is a bit of a spoiler. All right, and so the reason why I just went through those is because one of the coolest things about the character creation is that you can actually uh, save your character as a form of uh, numbers of, and letters and actually upload that to the internet. Um, actually, I don't know where it's uploaded to. All I know is that it is uploaded to uh, something, but it, it, it saves your character as a bunch of num letters and numbers. So what I want to do is I actually booted up my PS4 and opened up Neo 2 and I got the code of the character I was using in that game and I want to use them here. So I think all I got to do is just input character creation code. All right. So I actually took a picture of it. Um, all right. Let's see here. Uh oh, that didn't work. I wonder if it's different on, uh, I bet you it's, I bet you it's, it's different. Yeah, I bet you it's different. I don't know why, like, you can change the background from, like, this bluish, uh, sandy area. Oh, my God. The, the, this game is so, the game is so smooth. I'm, like, not used to that. To, like, outdoorsy area, which is pretty cool. Uh, I guess I can try and recreate my character. But only if you guys promise that not to make fun of me. Actually, I should probably uh, stop recording and yeah, here, I'll, I'll just cut to when I'm done. How about that? All right, this is my character. Uh, in my defense, I had just finished watching Who Framed Roger Rabbit like a week before this game came out on the PS4. And I was thinking like, 
I kind of want a female character because in Neo One you could only play it as a guy, so I think it might be kind of fun to play it as as a as a female, and I wonder if I can create her. And lo and behold, I did my best, and I think this is pretty much as close to her as I can get. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. A little bit disappointed that I couldn't carry over the code from the PS4, but uh, PC might use slightly different uh, codes or something like that. But anyway, I think that's pretty good. Like as good as I'm as good as I'm gonna get it. So let's go ahead and start the game. All right, well, we are in the game already, and I remember that this is a uh, tutorials, so let's go ahead and get through here. I guess I don't really have to do any of these tutorials, but it'd be a nice refresher, and plus people who might not know anything about Neo would probably be interested in seeing these tutorials. Uh, you can peer into the water here to change your appearance if you don't like it, but I think I'm fine. I think I got pretty close to what I had on the PS4. Yeah, objects, uh, the objective is in the top, or is in your little mini-map in the top right. I wouldn't really rely on that mini-map too much. It, it just shows a general location of where to go. It doesn't really do much besides, much else besides that. Uh, so in this little area, we can choose what starter weapon we want to use. And I see that... Did they add the DLC weapons? Uh, they did. That's interesting. So they added, uh, fists. Uh, the split staff. Oh, I, I think, I think that was it. Yeah, just the... Fist and the uh, split staff were added. Everything else was a part of was part of the game, but the weapons I always like to use are the sword, combat's pretty simple. All you had to do is you, you have light attacks and heavy attacks, and of course my personal favorite, the Odatsi, which is. Just a really large sword. Okay, get ready to see that combo a lot. I like the way that he puts the uh, Odatsi away. Proceed to the Guardian Spirit Selection. Yeah. All right, we got three Guardian Spirits. Each one has their own uh, unique kind of um, Yokai Spirit that goes along with it. So, like, there's a bird, which I should get, and the Sark. But I think I want the uh, Fierce Wolf. Hey, at least a Strength Plus One that would help the Odonsi. Of course, this is your spirit, your uh, yokai form. They call it spirit step, but whatever, so. And the thing I forget about, and so ba so basically in the first game, you could combine with your, uh, with your guardian spirit and become an invincible for a short time. This is basically the exact same thing, except instead of combining with your guardian spirit, you're turning into a yokai, which is pretty cool. Um, there's like this move, this, it's telling you to do that I almost never do for some reason. It like suits your guardian spirit out. I don't know. I I just I, I don't ever use it for, for some for some reason. Because I basically because the reason 
It's because you can just keep doing this forever. Like you don't have any you don't have any stamina while uh while you're in the yokai, so it's basically like, well, I could do this. Or I could just get up close and just start wailing them with my <laughs> giant uh mace. Mace of the face. And you can end it just like that. I don't think you can fall off here, can you? Nope. I fully intended to jump off there, but uh, you are not allowed to fall off. And really, I think that's like most of the tutorial that you get, which is interesting. I was kind of thinking that there'd be more tutorial, but uh, I guess that's all they give you for now. Change weapon, controls. Yeah, we go ahead and leave. Toyotomi Hideyoshi, the man who received no small triumph in bringing unity to this nation, was born in a poor village in the time of civil strife, but was blessed with a shrewd mind and the courage needed to overcome adversity. From Louis Freus, Historia de Japam? Did, did I say Japam? That's interesting. I like how the guy was uh, scared, just as scared of my glowing eye as he was of a uh, demon chasing him. So we get a Divine Branch Fragment, which lets us just quit a messin' in exchange for losing all of our Amrita. Which is basically just like the soul. It's basically, Amrita is basically like souls from, uh, from Dark Souls or, yeah. Oh my god, the game is so smooth. This is great. You can uh, you can go along the map and find little areas to uh, like little points of interest and get interesting items. I know a good way of doing that is just kind of like moving your cursor around. You got some sacred water from Mount Ibuki. I should probably read those, but you know, I'll okay, you know what? We'll read those later because those are those are some interesting like real life lore, I guess. Um we can go ahead and just start the first mission. Why not? I wait under the nighttime cherry blossoms for the hero that will set our village free from these horrors that plague us. It seems that this message is from someone that's heard whispers of my work slaying yokai. There are no hints as to who sent it. It appears to have come from a village called that name. No, I'll try to pronounce it. Uh, Jusan Zakura. If there really are yokai there, then it might be worth heading that way to say you take a look. All right. The Maelstrom of War. Oh my God, look at that loading. Holy crap, man. On the PS4, I'd be able to like read this whole thing and it still wouldn't load. But now it's just... Loads instantly. The Maelstrom of War knows no bounds, and even Zusan Zakura, a village once prosperous due to its abundant supply of post horses and work cattle, could not escape the chaos. Before long, it was reduced a little more than a ghost town. 
Now only yokai wander the desert ruin, the deserted ruined villains. The springtime cherry blossoms once enjoyed by the lively villagers as they went about their daily business, now bloom among the deafening silence of the long departed. So what's fun is that like the the uh, the weapons that you choose in the start. Uh, those are actually the weapons that you start with, so that's pretty. That's pretty nice. That like, you can just start with an Odazi somehow. Uh, just so you don't have to worry. In case you really like that place where we chose all of our weapons and had a tutorial, we'll definitely be going back there later. That's that's not like a one-time thing. We uh, we'll be able to go there whenever we want soon. All right, so luckily I think it's going to like slowly uh, teach us the controls and gameplay stuff as we go along. Uh, shrines, they're just like bonfires. The ability training has been unlocked. Yeah, I'm sure it has. Uh, so we can level up. And something you always want to see is that when you... Before you level up, you can actually see what stats are going to be affected. And that's why that's one of my favorite things to do is I always like to see what kind of things are, what the stats are before I level up. And sometimes you might want to put a bunch of points into, like, for example, if I only wanted to use katanas and odatsis, I'd only put points into heart and uh, strength because those, as you can see at the bottom, Affects Odatsi and other weapons. But sometimes, if you look through the stats, uh, you'll see that sometimes putting your points into uh, other other skills would be more beneficial for you at that time. But for now, I think putting in heart is definitely something that we want to do. Now, here's the thing that. What is. Okay, I guess. In, well, does that just show us videos? I don't, I don't know. Uh, summoning visitor. I guess we could summon somebody. I don't know. Maybe maybe Flocker wants to uh, join in with me, and we could do this co-op. But we need Otoko cups that <laughs> that I don't have. Maybe later. Now here's the thing. We have boons. Um, so you know, getting this game on Steam, uh, I pre-ordered it. So we get all this stuff. We get a lot of stuff from here. And I know some people might be saying, Ooh, I don't want to use that stuff. Eh. Well, well, guess what? Oh my god, that is a lot of crap. Valve helmet. Oh my god, that the Valve hem helmet was uh, in the first game too. This looks absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's see what we got. The thing is, is that I've already gone through the beginning of this game without any, uh, without any help. So now I want the help. Give me the help. All right. Why is this Demon Horde Katana worse than the Katana I already have? That would, okay, hold on, let's... So let's see here. The Dotsy I have now. No, wait. What is my first weapon? Oh, my first weapon is an, is an Odotsy. No, 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 no. We can't have that. That's going to throw me off. My first weapon has to be a Katana most of the time. All right, here we go. All right. Mino Uchi Katana. Uh, yeah, Demon Horde Katana. All right, that, that looks good. And our second weapon can be the Demon Horde Odatsi. All right, yeah. Look at the uh, look at the face at the end of that Odatsi. That's pretty awesome. I love the uh, attention to, to detail on the weapons. It's really good. 
Okay, I don't know why they locked all these items. I guess to kind of like, I don't know, I won't be needing these. All right, I'll be selling them as soon as I can. All right. Oh my God, it's the valve helmet. <laughs> oh my God, look at it. It has RGB. No. Oh my God. That's hilarious. Look at this. Oh my God. But the cat ears are better. Oh, hey, actually, this is better. Oh, but I hate it. This is a bit better, though. No. All right, the Demon Horde stuff is literally better. But I mean, yeah. All right. <laughs> that Valve Helmet. What, what is it? What is, what's the description on it? The Valve Helmet is mysterious and unusual helm worn by a visitor who appeared in the area of the moose. No, he didn't. Stop lying. Fastened to the back of an implement of a peculiar design resembling a tool used by Buddhist rituals. The visitor himself referred to this implement as a valve, but the meaning of the word is unclear. Also worth noting is a rainbow life, like simmering between grooves on the hell of his neck like and length, as if it's lined with a mother of pearl. But these lights flicker curiously, suggesting that a foreign technique completely unrelated to mother of pearl was used. <laughs> yeah, no crap. Yeah, R2 is used to uh, compare pieces of armor. My beautiful face is already being blocked. All right. Ah, uh, you know, I'll take that one. The thing is, is that all of these are fairly heavy, so... I'm not going to be able to use these. I don't want to put my equip my equipment weight into the yellow. So, looks like we're going to be sticking to the Sohoya deserter robe. Demon horde stuff looks good. Ooh, 30. That's pretty good. But I think I probably want this one because we still have to put on... Uh, oops. We still have to put on Sue's. Let's unlock all these at the moment. Okay. All right. Looks good to me. Oh, right. And an accessory, right? I forgot that we have accessories as well. Um, so this is something that we definitely want. We definitely want a Kodama sensor. Uh, here, I'll show you. We can actually look at... Was that the game or was that in real life? Uh, so this actually shows a location of nearby Kodamas, which is something that we definitely want. Uh, this actually gives us plus 28 key. That's pretty good. So we have two accessory slots, so let's go ahead and equip those. And we have elixirs. Yep, yep, okay. I think we are good to go, honestly.